I'll be starting to bleach. Yay! I'm scared. I have a question for the class. I feel like there's two little tiny sections at the front that came out kind of green. Hello! Oh, I am looking glorious today. We're gonna be doing something a little bit different today. I usually will like sew, crochet, make fun things that look like other things. We're not doing that today. We're going way off script. As you might be able to tell from the title of this video, I'm bored, or at least I've been bored with my hair since December. So I bought bleach <laughs> three months ago, almost at this point, and then I got really scared and didn't do it. But we're gonna do it today. So I have, I don't know what you call it, virgin hair? I don't know. I have never bleached my hair, but I have dyed it with henna a very long time ago. I think all of it's grown out by this point. And then I dyed my hair black, which I really love for like the two seconds that it did that. And then I dyed my hair like this really cute, I actually might have done this before the black hair color. I dyed it like a cute pink, but it definitely wasn't strong enough and it definitely didn't stay for long enough. So I kind of want to try it again, but in a different way. We're kind of going off of this example that I found on Pinterest, of course. Um, so we're kind of gonna be bleaching some of the ends of my hair, which I've never done before, and that's why I was scared. And then after that, we're going to be taking Brad Mondo's, of which I watched like 10 videos of his before doing this to make sure that I had the most information possible, but I'm still not gonna remember anything. But I bought his berry color, which I think is so pretty, and I think that with some lighter areas and some darker areas, it's gonna look really pretty. I bought two packets of these because I didn't know if it would be enough, but it's Wella, Brad Mondo, of course, said was the best of the ones that he tried, so that's the one we're doing. And then originally I bought 30 volume developer. I don't know why, this was a mistake. This was too much. <laughs> so then I course corrected and I bought a 10 volume developer. So I'm gonna mix those together to make 20 volume. We're not doing a test strand, we're just going straight into it. We're just gonna check up on my hair every 10 minutes. And the next time you see me, I'll be starting to bleach. Yay! <laughs> I'm scared. Okay. <laughs> the other side of this room is a uh, laundry room. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do Hi, is I'm gonna section my hair. So I think I want like half of my bangs to not be um, bleached and the other half I do want to be bleached and I don't really need it to be perfect. Just like half and half, you know? Like that maybe? Okay. For the rest of my hair, I like face framing sections throughout here, and then some bottom pieces here. Kind of like that. And then we won't do all of it. It'll kind of like start like an inch from my root and then probably go down from there just to make it look like more natural. I don't want to have to redo this. So I am just going to like leave the first one to two inches kind of untouched and kind of paint it on almost like a balayage, but like not a balayage, if that makes sense. <laughs> All right, we'll start bleaching. <laughs> You're gonna goof it on like this. Yeah, okay, that's how my aunt do it like this. Yeah. And then you kind of want to feather it to the top. Like where the, and I would say go an inch or two away from my roof. And I'm telling you, goof it. Like make sure it is saturated. I can smell the bleach. <laughs> I smell it. Was this like the perfect amount of bleach or what? For your hair, yeah. <laughs> Let me gloop it on. No, that, I'd rather you gloop it on than not because I need it to lighten a lot. You did it! Okay. Good job, Mom! I'm going to put some water in this cap, put it over my head, and check it every 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, this is what it looks like right here. I do have a question for the class. I feel like there's two little tiny sections at the front that came out kind of green. 
I did dye my hair black like a year ago. I, that could have been it. I don't know why I did that, but <laughs> I think it turned out pretty good. It was definitely light enough for the dye to kind of have two different tones. So now I'm gonna be using the berry color from Brad Mondo's line. It's kind of like a purpley pink and I'm excited to see what it does with the two colors. And that's gonna go all over my head. So here we go. It took me like three tries to get this makeup right. Very simple makeup look. I don't wanna talk about it. <laughs> However, what I do wanna talk about is my hair. I think it is so cute. I think, oh, it turned out exactly as I imagined it. I just really love this berry color. It's like a perfect mixture of pink, purple, and red on the blonde bit. Also, most hair colors that I have used start coming out after like one wash. I already washed my hair and I don't see a difference. So that's cool. Love all that stuff. I don't see as much of a difference. I see like a little bit of a difference on my darker hair, but my hair, my natural hair color is pretty dark, so I'll give you that. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. I think this just proves that sometimes you just have to like go for stuff because I, I just kept putting this off because I was so scared and I shouldn't have done that. This was really fun. I do think there are a couple of areas where I wish I would have touched it a little bit more. Sometimes when I style my hair, it depends on the day, but I'll feel like there are like chunks missing out of both sides. Today it turned out pretty okay though, but usually I see like a couple of bare spots, but I think when my bangs grow out, I'll just do my bangs again and then touch up those areas. But for a first time, going in pretty blind and not going in with like straight lines or anything, I think this did a pretty cute. I love these little under pieces right here. I think that kind of pulls it in a little bit more. I think if I were to just do like my face framing bits, I wouldn't have liked it as much. Even though I don't feel like these bottom pieces are as visible, I do like them. Make it all cohesive. Two things I cannot wait for. I cannot wait for this pink to actually wash out a little bit. It's funny because usually I'm sad when my hair color starts to come out. But with this one, I'm kind of excited for like a dusty pink. I think they'll be very cute, especially with like my brown hair. And second of all, I'm excited to try every color I possibly can <laughs> because now I can actually see the color now that my hair is lighter. Yeah, a complete success. I'm very happy. Next video will be a return to form. Be going back to making things. But I thought it'd be fun to come with me on this journey, especially because it ended up being cool. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe, all that good stuff. And I hope to see you back here next time. Bye.